Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to add custom styles to HTML element. Let's say for example, you have this HTML page. It doesn't look very good, but we can make it look good by adding some colors, proper spacing between elements and background color, etc. Now, the question arises, how do we do all this? Well, we can use CSS, cascading style sheets. CSS provides us with options to add all of these styles and much more. To add CSS styles, HTML provides us with an attribute called the style. Let's try an example to understand it better. Let's bring this up. So first, let's make our image full screen. So let's use that style. So in style, we have this another property, width. So which defines the width of your element. So in our case, let's say 100%. So what 100% does is, it gives the width of our entire screen or the entire space available. All right, let's save it. And as you can see, it's taking the entire width now. But the height is a bit more than our screen size, so let's reduce the height. That would make our image a bit shrink, but that's okay. So to add another property, we would separate it by a semicolon. And then let's add another property. So height, uh, let's give it a height of say 600 pixels and save it. So now the image is in the screen. Also, pixel is the unit used for dimensions here. So even the font size, the border radius, or the width, height, everything, whenever we are working with dimensions, we'll be using the unit pixels. All right. Now, there is this extra space between our edge of the screen and the image. So this is because HTML by default adds eight pixel margin in body tag. So let's move on to body tag. Let's add the style here. So let's change the margin to zero. Let's save it. And now as you can see, the margin is gone. So margin is the space outside our element. So if you inspect here, You see that red strip, that's our margin. The blue is the box in which we have our content. And outside that box, there's this red space, which is margin. All right. So over here also, let's come back. So talking about the heading. So in this heading, let's add a style uh, attribute. and Let's change the margin. Top. So when we say margin, so margin is above the box, below the box, left of the box and right of the box. All right. So to remove the margin from all the sides or to affect the margin on all sides, you can just write margin. So if you say margin 16 pixels, it would mean to give margin on top 16 pixels, on right 16 pixels, on bottom 16 pixels and on left 16 pixels. But if you want to change a specific margin, you have to mention it. So in our case, we want to change the top margin. So let's change that. So margin top, say 16 pixels and save it. And we've got space on the top. Similarly, let's add a margin at bottom, say margin bottom 16 pixels. Let's save it. Let's inspect it again. So right click and inspect. And now when you hover, so on top and bottom, there is a red strip. And if you see here, there's a margin top and bottom of 16 pixels. All right. Now let's bring the heading in the center of the screen. So for that, CSS provides us with another property, text align. The name itself suggests to align the text. So we can give it a value of center. Let's save it. And now, as you can see, our heading is in the center of the screen. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all these properties right now. Just remember, you can do something like this using CSS. With lots of practice, you will remember these properties by names. So for now, just don't worry. All right, so let's increase the font size as well a bit. So as the property name suggests, 
we are talking about the size of our text or font. Say, for example, we want to give 48 pixels. Let's save it. And now, as you can see, our font is a bit bigger. Now, moving on to these other sections. All right, so for this first paragraph, let's add some padding on all the sides. So style, let's say padding, 16 pixels. So because we are saying just padding, so the way we did for margin, just saying padding means adding padding on all the sides, top, right, bottom, and left. Let's save it. And if you inspect here, so there's a margin. The red strip is the margin, the green one is the padding, and blue is the content. So when you talk about padding, so it's the space outside the content. And when you talk about margin, it's about the space even outside the padding. All right. So coming back, let's increase the font size. It's barely legible. So font size, let's say 24 pixels. Let's save it. And now as you can see, the font size is much bigger. Let's increase the space between the lines. So for that, we can add another property, line height, say 1.5. Let's save it. And there's more space between the lines. Similarly, now if you want to add styling to the second paragraph, you'll have to copy paste the same styling. So if you want different stylings, you can go with that as well. But in our case, I'm just gonna copy paste it. So let's just copy it and paste it here. Let's save it. I want it to look identical. And now as you can see, both our paragraphs will look much cleaner and similar. Moving on to the last one. So for this heading, let's give it a style. Let's give it a font size, say 24 pixels. Let's give it a padding of left, say 16 pixels. So now it's in line with our other paragraphs. Similarly for our list, let's add some styles. So again, the style attribute, and let's give it a font size bigger. So font size say 24 pixels. Let's save it. And now as you can see, our font size is a bit bigger. And now if you see our website looks much, much better, much cleaner, it just looks better. Now, for example, if you want to add a background color to your entire web page, you can just add it to the body tab. So here, next to the margin, let's give it a background color. Say hash F2 F6, FF, F, let's say that. And now as you can see, it has got this very light bluish background. Also for the colors, there are different ways to write colors. You can just give it a name, say light blue, or you can use the hex codes. So the way we use right now, so F2, F6, FF. F. Or in other ways, you can use RGB codes. So RGB, say, 0, 0, 0. So this will be black. And now, as you can see, the background is black, but we don't want that. So let's just bring it back to our original color, which was F2, F6, FF. Let's save it. And it has a light blue background. Similarly, if you want to change the color of font, Say for example, we want to change the font color for a heading. So we would just, just use the CSS property color and say we want it dark blue. So let's just say dark blue. Save it and as you can see, uh, the color of our font is dark blue. Again, don't worry about remembering all these properties. It's gonna come with time with practice. Also, You've seen so many new things in CSS. Don't worry, I'm creating another CSS course, like an extensive CSS course, end to end, starting from basics to advanced concepts. So there you can learn more about CSS. But for now, this is the basics. 
and we'll be brushing up on this in the coming videos. We'll be using some property. In another video, we'll use another property. So don't worry, we'll just keep brushing up on these properties and eventually you'll learn it. Don't worry. All right? That's all for today, guys. If there's something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.